Hello everyone and you are welcome to the Let's Talk Weather program with the Ghana Meteorological Agency. I have exciting news for you. The Ghana Meteorological Agency was awarded the most efficient other specified enterprise of the year and we are so happy about this. With us here today is our Acting Director General, Mr. Eric Isuman. Welcome sir. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> okay, so we have a few questions for you. Okay, let's dive right into it. How does management feel about this recognition? It was so exciting um, and overwhelmed uh, and humbled. Actually, there is a saying that on examining life is not worth living. And how beautiful it is to get being examined by the institution that you are not even aware you are being examined. And then um, a renowned institution like uh, SIGA, who tells us that this evaluation was done by their team and the professionals like Pricewaterhouse, Coopers, and the rest. And among all the state's enterprises, um, Ghana Meteorological Agency was a judge as an efficient other specified enterprise uh, under the state's own enterprises. It's, it's, it's overwhelming than the humbled. Um, it shows that the little effort that all of us are making in our own small way is being watched, is being appreciated. I've noticed that, yes, globally, because Ghana Meteorological Agency belongs to um, WMO, there's been a lot of uh, recognition um, for the effort that Ghana Meteorological Agency is making globally. But, you know, sometimes there's a saying that, you know, Prophet is not honored in his own country. Mm -hmm. And so I, little did I know that within our country, we are being watched and being examined and then come out as the most efficient uh, system enterprise. What it means is that with the little that we have, resources and all our challenges, what we are putting out there go way beyond expectation. We've been efficient in managing the little resources and producing to save life and property. So we are happy and GMET must be happy. We have a cause to be happy for the first time in the history of the agency to be given such an award. Wonderful. Um, could you tell us some of the other agencies that GMET competed against or went against for this yes, award? Yes. Um, um, in fact, there is institutions such as EPA, Ghana um, Environmental Protection Agency, Ghana Maritime Authority, you have DVLA, um, we have a game commission and the likes and these are the institutions that found themselves in this category and GMET emerged as the winner. Okay, wonderful. So, um, what were some key highlights or achievements of the year that were taken under review when they were deciding on the winner? For this award? Yeah, um, as I said earlier, we, we actually didn't know we're being examined and that this um, evaluation is going on, but my understanding is that they look at how responsive have you been with respect to the contract that you sign with the government. Okay. So beginning of the year, GMET signed a contract with government and the SIGA student on behalf of government and signed a contract with all the state enterprises. And so we're being evaluated based on the content of the contract that we signed. And so on our operations, we're looking at um, lead time for warnings and delivery of our forecast, accuracy level of our forecast, how our financials have been handled and uh, how our reporting system has been, you know, responsive and regular and timely. And so these were the few indicators that we got to know that they use in evaluating the organization. So overall, it constitutes the performance of the organization because you're talking about operational delivery. That's the reason why you have been established. And then you are reporting and then you are financials. And in all of this, you can top 
with renowned institutions like DVLA and EP, and uh, the one institution I left out is uh, um, Standard Board mm -hmm. Authority. Okay. It's also part of the category. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now that the agency has gotten this recognition or award, what does it mean for us going forward? It means a lot. Um, there is a saying that it's not about climbing, but about sustaining where the level you reach and then push forward so that you don't drop. Um, so I believe uh, it calls for a lot more hard work, um, a call of duty from all the staff and management and the board and the ministry. But I believe we are on course. In fact, there are a lot of things that we are doing. I believe we are doing well, but I think the award has even come um, a bit too early. <laughs> I mean, when I took over, I always talk about the fact that the Metro Ghana Metropolitan Agency, from its inception, have been dealing with um, now cast uh, forecast. So our daily weather forecast, our weekly um, three-day forecast, and weekly forecast. Then we were working, we we're coming out with this service um, seasonal forecast, which have three months to the rest of the year to see the outlook of the year. But in between seasonal forecast and now cast, there was a gap, which is called sub-seasonal forecast, which we have not been doing. Mm -hmm. And then after seasonal forecast, which is the three months to the year outlook, there's one something called climate projection, okay. which we've not been doing from the inception of the organization. Now the targets mm -hmm. and the goal is to fill this gap so that we will cover all time scales. So we have the now cast, we have soft seasonal forecast, we have seasonal forecast, we have climate projection. We are working, we are working hard to fill this gap. And so remember just last month, we hosted about 28 metrologists from our 28 countries, with seven of them coming from Ghana to make it about 35 at Alisa Hotel in the, in the program and workshop that was supported um, by NOAA, sponsored by USAID, in collaboration with WMO and Ghana Metrological Agency here in Ghana to train the staff on soft seasonal forecast. Mm -hmm. Around the same time, three of our staff were sent to Columbia University to also be trained on soft seasonal forecast. It's a new phenomenon, mm -hmm. but it's so critical for the farmers and other stakeholders that we have. And so by 2024, we are going to come out with soft seasonal forecast to fill the gap between now casts and short rain forecast and the seasonal forecast. And then the climate projection, um, which will tell Ghanaians on the community scale how the weather and the climate is going to be in the next 20, 50 years to come. Wow. And that is the climate projection. And we are working with Danish Meteorological Institute under strategic sector cooperation agreements to come out with a climate atlas. In fact, the climate atlas is going to do the projection. In that document, you have about 1.1 kilometer radius projection that we are going to give. And we have to even aggregate them to have a community level climate projection. And we are going to, our target is to have about 39 ensemble model, models, global models, and then have our ground data, we call it institute data, and then integrate them to come out with this projection. We believe when we come out with this climate atlas, it will be a source document for every government institution, every institution that is mindful of, you know, planning into a future. For instance, if a local authority wants to build, say, um, a gutter, all right, drainage system, the drainage system has been built in such a way that in the next 20 to 30, 40 years, it will still be fit for purpose. It, that authority needs this information into its calculation to be able to build a drainage system that can withstand rains that, will, that is expected to fall in the next 50 years. Mm -hmm. And that become a source document for the decision making mm -hmm. for that local assembly, for a contractor building a road, for a lot of decision that has to be taken in this country. Mm -hmm. And that will be a reference point. And we are starting next year, 2024, 
We will not win what in there yet, and we are winning this hour. <laughs> and so, when we fill in with this soft seasonal forecast and bring on board this climate atlas, we believe GMET will be will be envy of all, and we will meet, we will, we will, we will, we will win bigger award. So, what message do you have for our stakeholders and management and the staff? Yes, I believe I have a very sweet message for them. GMET is really working. Um, all the things that we are doing have not crystallized yet. Mm -hmm. And so, even some of the staff have not gotten to know. But the vision is clear. Fill these gaps. If climate service, weather and climate service is not time scales, improve upon existing, existing systems. And this, our effort, is being noticed nationally and globally. So every now and then, we are getting contacts from institutions who want to work with us. In fact, this year, we've organized two, three training programs, two sponsored by WMO. One was on the um, data management. Another one was the modeling NWP, Numerical Weather Prediction Unit, and the WAF model that we are trying to run. The BMO brought us an expert and sponsored the training. And then the NOAA training that I spoke about, all sponsored by WMO. It's unprecedented that WMO, as I'm talking to you, um, just this evening I'm going to send a report on this training that I did on the um, database management. And there's about 108 um, thousand US dollars worth of program lineup that as soon as I present this report, I'm going to sign agreement to implement this program between now and March 2024. That's the, the, the confidence that globally the WMO is having in GMET to work with us to make GMET the, the beacon of hope for met institutions in the sub-region. Um, the GMET have difficulty in um, unlocking its cash flow problems. And so sometimes we have issues with our key stakeholders like uh, uh, the aviation, airport companies, civil aviation, about releases of our money. We've done a lot of work behind the scene and very soon, very soon, that, that bottleneck is going to be unlocked. An airport company is cooperating favorably with me and GMET and all the things that needs to be done are being done to ensure that GMET gets its share of the receivables that they receive from source. And when that happens, and it's going to happen very soon, um, there will be little issue about cash flow for, for us to do the things that we've planned to do. So my information, my message to the stakeholders is that they should expect very efficient um, quality relevant climate and weather information services from Ghana Metropolitan Agency. We are going to improve upon our, our now cast. We are going to improve upon our short rain forecast, as the three days and the weekly forecast. We are going to introduce sub seasonal forecast. We are going to improve upon our seasonal forecast. We are going to introduce climate projection in the form of a climate atlas. And this is a service that Kenyans need, and we are, and, and, and this is what we need to do to save life and property. So there's exciting times for the agency. I mean, the staff, when the cash flow problem is resolved, will be the organization will be oiled to make the staff happy, and they'll be motivated to deliver this service that I spoke about. So finally, is there anything you'd like to say to the general public? Well. I must say that there is a exciting time ahead. In fact, when I look through the crystal ball, or what I see is very exciting time, very positive outlook for this agency. And so our stakeholders watch out for GMET for an improved weather and climate services to save life and property. To our staff, be hopeful. Be very hopeful. Um, very soon, GMET will be GMET, which will be envy of Ghanaians and, and, and employees 
our, our, our objective is to make this place a place of choice that people will yearn to come and work with this organization. We will work hard together to make this place a better place. May all of us identify the problems and may all of us find solutions to resolve the problem. Together, we will achieve the objective to make everyone happy, Ghanaians happy, and the world happy. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It was wonderful having you on the show. This has been the Let's Talk Weather program with the Ghana Meteorological Agency. Thank you.